Mm. Mm -hmm. Hello, it's uh, Cup Day. I'm at Dad's in the nice uh, oh, Victorian farmy bushy area. Uh, Cup Day, of course. The, hence the hat and the and the jacket, of course. But then down underneath. Oh, I'll break the illusion. It's just shorts because it's actually, even though it's wet and that's still sort of warm. But uh, yeah. Um, Horse races, yes. Uh, I, oh, I should have picked the winner because the winner was Green Moon and a radio host from Australian radio show Hamish from Hamish and Andy. Ah, oh, he had a dream, he had a premonition that this horse would win, and I should have picked it. If I only picked one horse, it would have been that one. Twenty to one, that paid. Put fifty bucks on that. What's that? It's like two thousand bucks, one thousand bucks, one thousand bucks. Yeah, a thousand dollars. That'd be so cool. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is like the old house here. And then there's the new house uh, behind that truck there. Um, this is actually where the band, Ben and John Time and Caleb Time's band play or record the gigs out in um, in nowhere out here because it's a lot more. I guess it's quiet out here, not next to noisy neighbours. Neighbours are all the way over there. He knows how far away that is. Um, oh, that's an ancient secret place in there. That's where all the gnomes and... And things live. Um, yeah, very good. There's a horse, actually. Let's say hello to the horse. Why not? Oh, my God. It's wet. Gosh darn. Hello, horsey. Shay. How you doing, Shay? Shay hello. Shay hello to the people. <laughs> no. Disinterested. Highly disinterested. Not, satis not satisfied at all. But, yeah, it was really drenching rain early today. But, um... Luckily, houses have roofs and we were under it, so it worked out quite well. Uh, and I just want to tell you a couple of, uh, just a funny story over here. Uh, there was a tree just over here, because my dad drives a truck. And, um, hang on, I'll show you, but I don't want to show you the license plate because there's some legal issues there. But I'll show you, see, of course, you've probably seen the truck. There it is there, hiding behind the tree there. Uh, he's driving the truck down here, and for work, because this was part of his job, and then a tree fell. I, don't, I can't remember if it was on the truck or in the way of the truck or something. Uh, so we couldn't get out. Uh, and then he tried to cut the tree out of the way. But it was he only had an axe splitter, not an axe. And apparently, no, a log wood splitter, not an axe. And a log splitter, apparently they have a fatter head so because they're like driving in and wedging into the wood to split it into pieces for the fire. Whereas an axe has a thinner head for actually chopping wood. So with only the axe splitter... Uh, it took forever to cut the tree because it's just got such a chunky head. He took ages to uh, cut the tree. Um, so he, you go to cut the tree and then you get tired out, go inside, have a drink, watch some TV, then come out, have another go, and then three or four times doing that before he actually um, got the tree cut down. And it was, I think, same slippery weather like this. Like, like I think the, oh, it was yeah, stormy weather, so the tree fell down and the truck got bogged or something. So it didn't want to use the chainsaw because <laughs> might chop an arm off if... Um, if you use a chainsaw in the wet and you slip. Uh, so you're just doing it the easy way. And one other thing I noticed just here is, of course, here's the truck. And then if you look under the truck... <laughs> oh, Gypsy, you ruined my joke. But how does um, how does poo get under a truck? It's like you turn, you, you, you drive your truck, and then you shut the engine down. It, it just poos after each... Um, after each uh, stop. Hey, Gypsy. This is Gypsy. This is the cat. A bit roughed up. It's a bush cat. It sometimes gets to fight. Say hello, Gypsy. All oh, right, just a cat. Very friendly, though. Very friendly cat. Hello. How are you? Cat, 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 cat. Oh, you've got an owie on your face. Because, yeah, it's a bush cat. Oh, it's tough. Finding that gnome over there. Oh, you see that gnome? Where is it? There it is. You dirty gnome. Beating up Gypsy. Oh, brr. Purr louder. Purr for the cat. Yeah, it is. Oh, you quick cat. Um, so yeah, we saw a horse. We saw the cat. Very nice. Yes, yes. Meow, meow, meow. Cool. So yeah, that's cup day. Should have put money on it. Twenty to one. Well, serves me for not gambling. That's the lesson for the day. Always gamble, no matter what. Absolutely not. That's probably against YouTube terms of agreement and stuff to say. So don't gamble. It's bad. I never gamble anyway. So that's probably why I didn't. And I was in the sweep. I almost won the sweep for the day, but. I was one we did with, we like, had a few races and, and I lost the last one. No, it was a three-way tie between Dad Time 
and John Time's wife, Ali Time, uh, and me, Sam Time. And yeah, and then we had to do a lucky dip and pick the lowest number, and I picked the middle lowest, so. Pooh bum. Anyway, cool. Hope uh, if you put money on, on the thing that you made money, or if you're in another country, you could have still done that. But you shouldn't have, because gambling is... You have to be responsible with that, alright? So, so watch yourself. Alright, I'll see you next time. Have a good day and a good night. I will care, bye. I did it again. Missed the button. I have to get better at it. Funky bye. Funky bye.